Hello, math makers. Thanks for showing up for another math lesson. We are doing lesson number one of a brand new unit called Comparing Numbers. And we're going to be looking at, and you may have seen these before, less than, greater than, equal to, and kind of not wondered how to set them up correctly. Well, we're going to teach you how to do that today, and then we're going to practice uh, building them. So, First, let's look at some terms to know. These are the important things because you can't do the comparing numbers without knowing what these are. So we have less than. Less than means if the number is smaller than another number, it's less than it. It's smaller, it's less than. Greater than is this symbol. If the number is larger than the other number, it is greater than. And of course, we're always comparing the first number to the second number, and that's how we do that. And last, we have equal, and of course, you've seen equal probably a thousand times. If the number is the same, it is equal, or sometimes called equal to. If you ever see that, basically equal means something is the same as the other. Two plus three is the same as five. Five is the same as two plus three, because they equal each other. Now, the reason those terms are important is because when you're reading the answer to a greater than, less than, or equal to question, you're making a sentence and this is how you know if you are correct for example four is less than seven because it's smaller than seven so we use the less than symbol so four is less than seven i know that sentence is correct so i know my answer is correct or i might say eight is greater than five because eight is bigger than five and again i'm always comparing these two numbers so eight is greater than five or I might have three is equal to three because it's the same number. They're the same as each other. They're equal to one another. If I have three over here and I have three over here, it's the same. Both have three. Now, you might be wondering, why was there an alligator on the front screen? That didn't make any sense to me. Well, a lot of people and a lot of teachers often use the alligator to help you remember which symbol to use because the alligator always eats the biggest number. So whichever number is bigger, that's the one the alligator eats. I know I always eat the bigger piece of cake, which can be a problem. But in math, we, the alligator is going to eat the bigger number. So nine is greater than two. See, nine, the alligator is eating the nine because it's bigger. It wants more. Or you might say one is less than five. Look at the alligator. He's going after the five because five is larger. So one is less than five. And this is why I tell you we're making a sentence, because we're, this sentence lets me know that my answer is correct. One is less than five. And just make that alligator eat the bigger number. So a lot of people use the alligator to help them remember. If that helps, use it. If you don't need it, that's fine too. Um, either way, I just want to make sure that I'm helping you, um, or we're helping each other, figure out how to do this better and correctly. So let's do a few practice ones together. <laughs> Now, I have a 1 and a 3. Let's compare them. Is 1 greater than 3, less than 3, or equal to 3? Which one would I use? I know that 1 is smaller, so I'm going to use less than. And what would my sentence be? My sentence would be 1 is less than 3. Already makes sense, doesn't it? Let's practice a few more. I have a 4 and a 2. Is 4 greater than 2, less than 2, or equal to 2? Which one is it? It is a bigger number, so we know it's going to be greater than. So I'm going to pick greater than, and my sentence would be 4 is greater than 2. And that lets me know my answer is correct, because I put greater than, and I picked greater than. And my alligator's eating the bigger number. 5 and a 5. Which one would I pick? Greater than, less than, or equal to. If they're the same number, of course, I would pick equal to. And what would my sentence be? Five is equal to five. That's correct. Now I have two more numbers, 13 and 27. The numbers are getting bigger. We can still compare them. Is 13 greater than 27, less than 27, or equal to 27? It is less than, you're right. So we're going to use that symbol, the alligator's eating the 27. What would my sentence be? 
13 is less than 27. That is correct. Two more numbers. 25 and 25. Is 25 greater than 25, less than 25, or equal to 25? Equal is correct. <clears throat> and of course, I think I put the answer there in my sentence first. 25 is equal to 25. Next, I have an 18 and a 15. Is 18 greater than 15, less than 15, or equal to 15? Which one is it? Greater than is correct because it's bigger number. It's greater than. And what would my sentence be again? 18 is greater than 15. We're going to do about three more and then we're going to be done. I have two numbers again, 78 and 78. Is 78 greater than, less than, or equal to? They're the same number, so it's going to be equal to. And what would my sentence be? 78 is equal to 78. Two more numbers again. And then I have one more question after this, and we'll be finished with our practice. 14 and 17. Again, which one would I pick? Less than. Remember, the alligator eats the bigger number. And what would my sentence be? 14 is less than 17. And last one, a 2 and a 0. Which one would I pick? That one is correct. And what would my sentence be? 2 is greater than 0. I bet you're already getting the hang of it. I bet you're basically an expert now. I'm pretty sure you are. Guys, thank you for showing up today. You're making math easier just by being here. I hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.